Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali, and in this video, we will learn about Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali, and in this video, we will learn about printing options and page layout tab. So let's get start with the printing first. To print uh, an Excel worksheet, you can just press a shortcut key control P, which will brings you to the print preview pane, or you can click on file tab on top left side and go to print, where you will find different options available on the left side. So let's discuss. First of all, how many copies of print you want to print physically of this particular document or worksheet. So if I increase the number, it will print accordingly the number of copies. Then you have to set the printer. If you have a printer, you can select that default printer or you can go to printer properties uh, to select. Okay. Then you have a uh, different kind of settings available in terms of printing a spreadsheet. So if you want to print only active sheet or you want to print entire workbook, which consists of all the existing worksheets available in that workbook, or you just want to print the selection. So if I select any specific area in Excel and when I come back to here and I will select print selection, so it will only print selected. So at this point of time, I have just selected one cell. So you can see that when I select the print selection, this only prints the current selection by the user, right? Okay, then we have uh, a choice to print uh, from the specific pages. For example, in this particular spreadsheet, you have 10 pages and you want to print page number six till eight. So you will write six here and eight here. So you can define the customized number of range pages. Then you have collated and uncollated settings uh, uh, for the printing. So for example, if you are printing multiple copies and you want that uh, first, uh, if you go with the collated, so the first entire set will print and then the next entire set will print. But if you go with the uncollated option, what it will do is it will print multiple times the same page and then the next page. Okay, then you have two types of orientation, uh, portrait and landscape, you will set that accordingly as the print you want. And then it's also important that how you are printing on what types of pages you are printing, what the size of that page is. Okay, so you have to select this majority of the time we have the letter or A for size. And then exceptionally, uh, might be sometimes we print on legal or executive pages. Okay, you can set the margins as well. So there are different kind of default margins available, uh, normal, wide, narrow, uh, depending the context you want on the page, right? And then the scaling part, uh, fit on one page, you want uh, all the data. Sometimes what happens is a minor data comes on the next page and you want to fit that on one page. So you can apply that option. Then also you can go to the page setup where you can explore further more options like uh, you can define the header and footer uh, if you want to print them and also there is a one more feature you can set the different header and footer for the odd and even pages or even different for the first page okay all right so these were the printing options available in microsoft excel now let's go to explore the second part of this video is the page layout tab so in the page layout tab the first thing we can consider is to set the theme of the spreadsheet so by default is the office theme you can set the theme differently as you like then you can set a customized colors for that particular theme a font style and the effects okay then the page setup which we have already saw in the print area uh, that particular window right so the options are all same orientation margin size printing area you can also add a background uh, from a, any image from the website or directly our image, but backgrounds not print in the physical printing. Okay. You can also print titles as well. Sometimes what you want is when you scroll down this particular data set, for example, this one, and when you print that, sometimes the title does not come on each of the page. So you will go to the print titles and you will use this option that is ROS to repeat at the top. And I will select the raw number one to repeat on each of the page when I will print that. Okay, so this is good option. Then you have, uh, if you want to view the grid lines, you can 
check mark if you don't you can uncheck similarly for the headings then you have some shape related uh, features available the arrangement group so let me insert two shapes for you just to give your demonstration here so this is the first shape i will copy and paste another shape and i will change the color now for example if you want to make blue on top and uh, green at the back so what you can do is just select this particular uh, shape and go to page layout and click on bring to front so it will come in at the front and if you can select send to back it will go backwards right and these two shapes are two different objects if you want to group them you can as well just press the control key select both the objects and go to the group so it will convert into one and then you can drag and drop accordingly even you can rotate this as well into different degrees flip vertical flip horizontal and so on right then you have some alignment options as well these are also related to the shapes so you have when you create some excel dashboards which we will do in this particular other module of the course so that will be handy in in the dashboard reporting basically you use the arrange group from the page layout so i hope you like this video and do practice for each of the option on this particular data set thank you